And welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler, and we will continue today our United States run playing for um, a civil war soon. Uh, we will hopefully in this episode get to arms in Dixie and start the U.S. Civil War, a new civil war, as the South. In order to do that, uh, the wiki says we want to get these two things here. Um... Well, that, that's interesting. Ensures that the following states remain with the government in the event of a civil war. Ohio, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. So it's possible that uh, the North rebels, if you will. We keep, keep ourselves. Hopefully we get the achievement. If not, I'll restart. Because um, it's kind of important we get it. Uh, we are going to get artillery up to five. I think we'll do support equipment up to five before we are messing with planes or anything else. Um, we need to do this. Normally I'd be, you know, rushing down trying to get research slots and all of that stuff. That's my normal take on this stuff. From adjusted compensation payment. Don't know what that is. But we no longer get it. Well, that's terrible for us. Okay. Again, we have uh, stuff here. Okay. Okay. Continue to develop them. I wish more nations had that decision, those kinds of things. Because I feel like that's kind of important. I feel, I feel. Um, let's look down here. 1938 is Special Forces more special forces um, you know I, I don't really think that's needed needed uh, I think I may actually try and do signal company and, and logistics company no 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 These are all 108 days. Let's do that. Let's do that one. What is the Navy uh, year? 3640. 36. We need to, to get that at some point that fighter going. Mexico's Civil War continues. Alright, let's go ahead and get work with the Bund. What is this last one here? Requires all of the following. Okay. Oh, that's the honor of the Confederacy. We don't want to do that. For reasons I stated in the first episode. From Florida. I mean, that should actually be happening anyway. No, it's not. Well, we'll, we'll add that to the list. We don't have very many civilian factories being used right now. For us at all. Oh, that's because of the, uh, the developing here. Yeah, that's using 24 factories. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. We're still only two rubber behind. 
again, I'm kind of just in a holding pattern until after the Civil War happens. Although I don't know... I know that there was a timer. South Africa declares independence. What is going on in the UK? They are fascist. British Empire allies fascist. Okay. You going to declare war? I mean, that kind of puts a wrinkle in my plans, but is what it is. Um, we probably can't, uh, we'd need 27, and the production cost is below the thing. So yeah, we can't do that yet. So we just have to, uh, do things we can build. So we'll just do cruisers, I guess. I guess, I guess. Let's take a look, though. Uh, Australia has declared independence. Yeah, we are already building cruisers. We're building submarines. Uh, I mean, carriers are what we can build, but we, we don't need any more of those. We do need destroyers. We need destroyers. Um, six, six, seven. And we'll do submarine. Uh, that's 39. We don't need 39 yet. Um, yeah, we'll get that Warhawk going. Because that's going to be really important. Canada has declared independence. The Empire is indeed in crisis. Everything has declared independence. What that does mean, though, is that Canada is going to be free. And when I do become fascist, they become an easy target. To just quickly go steamroll, I hope. And uh, add to our empire. But yeah, the British Empire. This That's an interesting uh, situation going on over here. Uh, British Malaya and New Zealand remain. New Zealand probably because they just don't have uh, anything here. Nope, there's New Zealand. New Zealand did not get a uh, focus tree. Because I don't have together for victory, so none of them have a focus tree. So that's worth remembering, I guess. Um, you know, I'm just going to go all the way down with carriers. On the Naval Doctrine. The Civil War is in complete stalemate. Over here. Because maybe they took like one more one more little territory here. Work with the Bund, and so now we want to do recruit the free corps. Alright, there is uh, one. Computing machine is still 71 days away. These are 100. Hmm. 143. 300 and some on. Uh, 
Um, 106, 106. Let me get that. Uh, no, we don't want to modify our government yet. I know I can hire someone for 50. I don't want to do it yet. I assume that we want to uh, work down these areas as well. So once that's done, we'll start working down this, I guess. Or we could start heading for here. Might just head down to here. Uh, so it looks like Austria is with the uh, Germans. In fact, one of the world tension things is going to be a lot of uh, happening after the civil wars are done. I don't know how long I have. The 10 million march. Uh, we have protests against Alf Landon. They are re re demanding that he be removed from office. Got news for you. I am not going anywhere. Can I declare war on a rebellious side? I don't know. We still have support. Armory raided. Well, that sounds like a civil war bit. Sounds like that for sure. And, um, come on. Hey, we have representatives that, that are helping us. What's Britain doing? They still have British Malaya. For now, citizen militia forms. We are on our way. Ohio. Soldiers are deserting. Yep, we're on our way. Civil War is happening. Things are happening, folks. Things are happening. We'll just set up to go in South Carolina. Recruit the Free Corp is done. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this down here. Start heading for that free ref uh, research slot that exists on this side. Um, I do feel like there's probably more on the other side. But, um... Arsenal of Democracy, though. We would gain an extra research slot, so maybe. Maybe. Although Neutrality Act, no, because we have to have Republican Party. Um, yeah. So this is the only one we can go for there. So yeah. 
That would give me five. That's not bad. So we'll just head down this this route here. For now. Fourth International. Okay. Huh. Obviously, the, the focus tree is larger than, than I last did it. Ooh. Hungary is militarizing. I think... We'll do decryption first. And then uh, in 26 days... We're going to have both of these, so we'll flip over and do uh, both of those other two right there. As I do kind of agree with the general consensus that uh, engineering and industry are extremely, extremely important to building everything up. You can always overpower people. At least other nations. I don't know about civil wars. Russia's declared war on the Soviet Union. Um, so Mexico's in civil war, the British Empire has completely fallen apart, and the Soviet Union has had a civil war. Now, last time, my Italy campaign, I tried to help out uh, the new Russia, the non-aligned here, uh, following uh, Vlasov. Vlasov? And uh, it didn't go very well. They got overrun very quickly. We'll see if that continues uh, here. We'll also see, like I said, if Brit the British Empire decides to... Uh, Go after their colonies. Because if not, I've got news for you. I'm going after Canada. Mexico. Oh, they took a state back. Or a province. Is it province? Province or state? I don't really know. Alright, so these two are done. So, uh... Ooh, this is 39. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, I don't think we need any of those then. So we don't have any battleships. That's the thing. So I'm going to do this one, I think. And that's going to get us close to 1939, in which case, wouldn't there be some more of this stuff? Yeah, there's a 39. There's only one thing there. And we, we do have more support companies. That would be the, the thing to be working on after that. For sure. This is not... This is a carrier fighter. Um... The Warhawk can go on carriers, right? So, stop making a carrier fighter, whatever that is. Start making Warhawks. Start doing that. I demand it. We'll see if Mexico can start there, or can win their civil war. We'll see what happens with everything else here. Uh, we'll do three, three. And at this point, we probably should try and get some rubber from something. Apparently, we can get it from the United Kingdom. Free civilian factories. Let's build some more civilian factories. I'm going to build in Kansas. Because that's where I'm from. get some civilian ones going before we get the military ones going figure out what's going on here but I kind of assume that the gate based ability would be would be bad 
but maybe not. I, I really want that that research slot. I'm going for the research slot, whether it's a good idea or not. Because it's just something that I I tend to really, really want. Kentucky has a citizen's militia. I've lost track of which states have had a citizen's militia. These desertions are happening faster and faster and faster. I really want to get to when the Civil War starts. I don't really know when that would be. But I am kind of thinking... Okay, Pakistan has declared war on India, so they're having a civil war. Japan has declared war on China, the first normal thing that's going on here. All right, Mexico is starting to invade from the north. They lost that fight, but they're starting to invade from the north. They've taken this. So Mexico's trying to get there. Italy abandons the naval treaty. But I think we can still overwhelm Italy in numbers right now. We have strikes. Because of lack of civilian factories. Okay, that's fine. How far down are we? Eh, that's not too bad. Kind of expected we were going to have some issues. We probably need actually. Tried to time this. I may not have timed it very well. I think we need the, the carrier bomber over the, the fighter here. The British Empire has abandoned it. We're starting to see that happen. Uh, let's just get this done. It's December. It's not too far ahead of time. And if, if we're going to stay as the government, let's get the tanks. Oh, Canada actually has a troop. Good for you, Canada. Uh, yeah, Russia did not last very long in their civil war. Hopefully ours goes in a similar fashion. Canada, are, are you at war? We are guaranteeing the independence of Canada if the British Empire attacks Canada. Which might be a, a good thing if we can get you know, to war with the British Empire at this point when there's got nothing there. Yeah, see, I didn't want this. I wanted it to, uh, to happen right after the Civil War was over. Oh, we no longer get the effect from strikes. So for however long it lasts... Let's get some stuff. Let's just trade with the Dutch East Indies, because I know they're not going to be at war anytime soon. Well, I don't know that for sure, but I, I suspect they're not going to be at war anytime soon. We actually are pretty low. There we go. There it is, just in time. The Democratic supporters have started a civil war. Let's figure out our leaders. And let's figure out... Um, first, the... Oh, Douglas MacArthur came with us, okay. And... Um, 
Let's see, career officer, infantry officer, panzer leader. I have a lot of panzer leaders. I think I'm going to do uh, Simpson first here. Well, no, we're, we'll get you some experience. How about that? We'll get you some experience. Um, so I think I'm going to establish ourselves here. So we have so many uh, undone stuff here. We can do this here. Uh, we're going to get this all set up. Uh, in the off time, I will see you next week for the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe down below. I will see you next time.